In this video, you will learn how to get your videos to rank high for specific searches and generate enormous number of traffic to your video. This will be done through Google AdWords, and this is a common technique used by a lot of marketers, and now you can too. Video has become one of the highest rising and most popular marketing techniques that is rapidly growing in popularity. And the last thing you would want to do in internet business is to be left behind. This is why we have this module to teach you how to rank high for specific searches for your videos. There are two types of factors that will affect how Google will rank your video, which are the on-site factors and the off-site factors. Without further ado, let's get to the on-site factors. First and foremost, the relevancy of keywords is the key. Google evaluates your video based on the language in your video and your description box. So make sure to research on the keywords that you are going to use. Video tags is said to be not very important, but including a few keyword tags helps YouTube know what your video is all about. The title and description of your videos is an important factor in determining your rank because the keyword in your title and description gives a slight SEO boost to your videos. The thumbnail creates the first impression of your video. Customize your own thumbnail to increase the click-through rate of your videos. Instead of using the random snapshot auto-generated by YouTube, using your own customized thumbnail is always preferred. YouTube uses the content of your video to rank your video as well. To help get a summary of your video, you can include the targeted keywords in the transcription of your videos. The more engagement of viewers, the more channel authority you have. You can give a link that consists of your keywords to your YouTube channel from your website to build channel authority. Other than the on-site factors that will affect your rank, some off-site factors affect your ad rank. First of all, the views and video retention. The more views you have, the more exposure your video has. This way, it improves the video's YouTube SEO. Second off-site factor is the comments on your video. Comments on your video give an authority signal to YouTube. If viewers have commented on your video, it means they have enjoyed the video or at least they have watched the video until the end. Subscriber is the third factor. If people have subscribed to your channel, it means they have loved it. This indicates that your video is authoritative as well. If viewers share, favorite, or add your video to their watch later list, it gives an authority signal to YouTube as well. Last but not least, just like Google uses inbound links to rank your page, YouTube also uses these links as a ranking factor. If other videos point back to your video, it indicates that your video is a quality video that's worth pointing back to. Unlike the organic traffic you get from just putting your video up, Google AdWords is a recognized paid advertising platform. With the huge number of users, Google is indeed the most prominent platform in the world. For your information, Google has 86% of the market in search engine. More than three quarters of the people in this world use Google search engine in their daily life. Chances are that your advertisement posting with Google AdWords can double or even triple the traffic to your website. Google AdWords advertises with SEO or search engine optimization. You'll need to understand more about the keywords in your niche in order to get a good result for SEO, which I'll talk about later on in another video. With Google AdWords, the budget you are going to spend for this is fully under your own control. You get to set your own daily budget for the ad campaign, which I will talk about later on in this video as well. When all the criteria of your site has met all the requirements by Google, your video will stand out in the search results. Then, it will boost the exposure of your video to your targeted group based on the keywords searched by the users, and obviously, gets your videos to rank higher. Now, we've covered how Google AdWords functions and how efficient it is to bring your video up to the first page. Of course, you know that good things will never come for free. You need to pay a price based on your bid to Google based on how many views they manage to send to your video, which is called the cost per view. 
Other than appearing on top of the search results page, Google does advertising in other people's video pages as well through in-stream or in-display. You don't need to worry about getting permission from the video owner. Google already did that for you. Do not forget that getting views is one of the factors that affects your rank. To start the ad campaign with Google AdWords, you just need to follow five simple steps. First, you need to create your own AdWords account. No worries, it's free to create the account. In addition, it's a simple sign-up process where you only need to key in your email address and your password if you are already a Google user. In just a few minutes, you are in for the competition. Next step, you will pick on the video campaign. For your information, Google AdWords is not only for video marketing, if you have your own website, you can place your bid here as well. I will not go further in depth for this because it's a different ballgame here. After you've picked on a video campaign, you'll be directed to another page where you get to select your budget for the video campaign. You can set your daily budget or campaign budget based on your financial plan. Let's say the cost per view is $0.10 cents on average for that video, and you'd like to bid for 100 views per day. Your daily budget will be $0.10 cents times 100, so in total, it would be $10 a day. Of course, you can change your daily budget at any time. Moving on, you can choose the delivery method. First, to choose the network, YouTube search page, YouTube videos advertisement, or video on Google partner sites, app, and display network. You can tick every box there as well. And then, choose the locations you want your video ad to be shown and the languages your target audiences speak. Next step is to choose the type of advertisement you want for your video. There are two types of ads, the in-stream and in-display video. The in-stream video ad plays before another video. Viewers can choose to skip your video after a few seconds. You pay only if viewers watch for 30 seconds or to the end of the video, whichever comes first. On the other hand, if you choose the in-display video, it includes an image and some text. This video will show differently depending on where on YouTube it appears, either in the search results page, YouTube-related videos, as a YouTube overlay, or on partner websites. You only pay when someone clicks on it. The ultimate goal of doing all the bidding with the keyword is to move your video to the top of the ad rank. The higher your rank is, the better exposure of your site is. Ad rank is decided by Google in determination of the placement of video. You might be wondering how this actually works. Well, it's like this. Obviously, one of the factors that affects your ad rank is the auction for views, which is how much you bid on. Every user gets to choose how much to bid. However, it's not only based on how much you bid, there are other factors as mentioned. Now you may be asking how to get a higher rank for this. Google wants to show only pertaining videos to their users and avoid advertisers to simply buy over the video space with irrelevant ads. So here's how you can move your video up to the top in ad rank if you follow this ad rank formula, which consists of three elements. If you manage to master the skill to balance up all these three elements, you are going to get yourself up to the top of the rank. First element is the bid of your maximum cost per view. You are at the same time competing with millions of advertisers all around the world. So make sure you do the calculation of your own financial advertisers all around the world. The second element is the relevancy of the video. Google analyzes the relevancy of video by reading the language in the site. This is related to the headline and text you are going to put under your video. The final element for ad rank is the performance factors, such as view rates. Google will evaluate your videos with the keywords you've set and calculate the expected view rates of your video. This is really unpredictable and is determined by Google based on their own prediction on how many views they expected can be sent to your video.